to you. Okay. Welcome. Monday, uh, March 13th. Is that the date? We're good. March 13th, meeting of the HR team. So we're building up the HR effort, human resources effort at Open Source Ecology with Richard White as our HR generalist in training. We've got a couple of people who are actually applying. So we've, we've got a, at least one interview coming up on Wednesday. I don't know if you can make it, but that is good. And uh, let's kind of check in how we can regroup, reorganize. I think one way we can definitely regroup, reorganize in terms of building the team. So we're at, as I mentioned, we're at six people right now on the development team. Velocity is decent. The hours are starting to add up, basically like a linear growth of uh, hours committed. Didn't see your hours this week, did I? Yeah, I, I still got to do mine. Pump it in. The general policy there being let's let's encourage everybody to do that by Sunday or like the last day they work in the last week so we can have the, you know, don't have to nag people in the first week. But that's that, that we can s set up reminders and automate that too. But um, one way to focus the recruiting would be through existing development communities, I think. So I want to talk, spend this time, this session talking a lot about that. But before that, let's check in where we are currently. So a couple of things were the ISO, the OSE Linux, which is the universal Linux that everybody uses, as well as the um, welcome letter and the badge that people get. What's the status on those two items, that, which were pretty high priority from last week? Okay. Um, yes, I looked at the email. Uh, it looked pretty good. I know you had made, went and made some changes, but I read, I read through it. It looked pretty complete to me. Um, yeah. Seemed like everything was in there. Then uh, I went on the um, did the uh, Linux and was able to boot it from the USB Live. Um, Were you? So I, yeah, and uh, I did that through Windows. Yeah, Michael was here. We, we went through it, um, and then uh, I found a pretty good link on the uh, go to website, and it had you know it spelled it out pretty clearly. I just followed the steps and was able to do it a short amount of time so um, I put the link to that on my log if we want to include it in the email um, so it worked pretty well for me um, how to create so a bootable USB on Windows that, so that's Windows yes. okay so if you how about Linux we don't have that yet this that's good I mean um, Windows is a good start um, so that has the um, yeah, good. Um, it worked for you, so you could actually actually run the OSE Linux. Right. Yeah, the one that was sent to me in the um, Google Drive. Yeah. Yeah, I was able to run it. Can you do a screen share? Can you can you do? Let's see if you run. No, you have to <laughs> you'd have to start up again, right, to to be able to run yeah, it, right? Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was, was going to try. That that other thing I was thinking is I could um, just get like a. I don't know, like a video recorder and just kind of record my screen, like yeah. handheld or something. Yeah, that would be cool. I want to see what the thing looks like. I mean, does it just look like a blank Ubuntu distribution? Um, so when I, the way I did it was, oh, you want to, I'm have to go back and do that early. I did that like a week ago. Um, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. That's uh, yeah, when, when I start, when I start up like with Windows, uh, when it starts up, you get a little bit of a, some time it says like boot options you just hit f12 and then yeah. it takes you to um the option it's right there it's uh actually pretty straightforward yeah yeah um, and yeah, then it, it, is it fast uh, um yeah i was using a little bit it, it seemed like it worked pretty well and then um what were you using so web web surfing did you have free cat on there yeah i just um wait what i didn't check on free cat. yeah i just did some web surfing i was um just trying to do some of my daily stuff on it. Uh, I wasn't, which is a little bit, uh, and I've got everything on Google, and it's kind of hard to switch over, but I was able, you know, surf with like Mozilla. Uh, I think I downloaded Escape or uh, Kaden Live, I downloaded. I was, okay. Um, I was able to run that. Okay, so you're running from the live distribution, that's good. 
What are your thoughts on uh, how do we get the documentation for the Linux version for the Ubuntu install? Um, okay, so that's for, for people who already have Linux, how to do Ubuntu? Well, no, man. You know what you could do? Um, well, have you given any thought to single USB point like sale? Like the thing for the website embed for like how we can set this up so a person can order one one of those that is okay. auto, auto fulfillment right okay yeah. I get, uh, but uh i don't want to maybe so... no nah, maybe nah nah hold on to that man i think what we should be doing is um get some people on a team to help with it like like for you i think um uh, i think for the hr focusing on the hr um So there's some progress there that's good um i think a more effective way to would be actually to get some to recruit people specifically for these kinds of things like people who are computer savvy as, and so forth um so let's let's let go of that for now given that there's good progress and kind of makes me think like if you send that to me i could actually use that and there that could be it it's like okay cool we've got it you know so that's good and for the so for example for the workshop we want to have a live USB that people run the full computers, the, the 3D printer, which is behind me here um, in progress there. But, um, but so that we don't get into any software issues, we would want to have that. But I would say let's try to get somebody to the team that can help us with that. And uh, one person I could reach out to is Andrea from OSC France who's been active, He's they've done a prototype of the solar concentrator in France, and uh, he actually was offering before to do some computer support for the backbone of OSC infrastructure and all that. So we can ask him that. But yeah, I, I think um, there's, a, there's a bit of tasks to do there, and it's so I would say we can um, focus on finding somebody to do that. Okay. Uh, so let's keep let's kill that one off for yeah. now and the second part being the email so when can we send an email out can you just send it out to people without the yeah, ISO just to send it out yeah um, it, it looks pretty good uh, just to make sure the links go where they're supposed to I think everything's on there now uh, I, yeah I went with the uh, the badge I I did the color one I think I sent you a, a PDF of it to your email and I was just thinking that one, and then I could like put the names and the their scores in there if you want me to do it, and then send yeah. it in the email. Yeah. Or if you just want to leave. Like, no, let's themselves. let's do that. Let's let's have you put that in there because we were kind of talking about how this is a present for you. You don't have to work on this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right. Um, yeah, I was actually looking around. Uh, where do I find their CAD scores? Yeah, so go to the free CAD test, and if they didn't score themselves, look at their result and score it for them. There's a few people that scored it. Go yeah. to OSC free CAD 101 and then the free CAD test. Okay, so you got the color one now. Okay, um, yeah, so you got to modify it. I don't know. I would keep it. Um, can you maybe keep it to the black and yeah, white for now? Oh, you want to keep the black and white? I think so because um, it will look. I'm thinking for the purpose of uh, like we could. I think it'll be easier to see when it's a very small icon because we want to have people embed this in their work log and elsewhere. Yeah, I would say maybe just keep it to black and white for now until we get the hang of it. Maybe we could get the color one to special people. <laughs> okay, that's good. So, so you think you can draw draw that up and um, send it out? So, so yeah. Uh, there's a couple different black and white options. You just want something similar to that color one, but just remove the color. Well, let's see. Let's see what we got. So, send me a link to the page. That's what is that on? JB's log. Yeah. Let me see that. OK. 
Okay, let's see. Where is that thing? Um, it's at the bottom. At the bottom? No. Bottom of where? Oh yeah, John Baptiste's log. It's, oh, you know what? Actually, it's at like the top, uh, top third. Top third. Time sheet, D3 meeting, Monday Hangouts, the D3 Network Group. Send a link. Is it under icon style? See. Guidelines? No, icon, send a link. Icon variance. Send a link. Oh, it's just his log. I gotta just copy and paste his log. I mean, yeah, but where's where's the I mean, top? Send you, like, top. I'm on his log. Where is it uh, there? Mon uh, February. Go to February 2017. Monday to six. Ah. Oh. There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's see, which one do we like? I kind of like the preferred one. The preferred. preferred. Yeah, it's got the date, it's got the text, it's got OSC, everything is clear. Check. Yeah, that one. Um, okay. Oh, you know what? I, I found something, though. The only ones that I can actually edit on the Inkscape are the ones... If you look down there, one through four, it says source file here. Uh, I think it has to be one of those. So let's see if. Ah, uh... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it will be. Um, okay. Hmm. This is good. Let's see. I kind of like the. Which one do you like? Kind of like the first one. first one but you can't read it unless it's going to be a little larger well that's okay yeah tell me the three items that are the data points on a in the writing um uh, the uh four yep there we go yeah what else so Score is number one. Yeah. Two is uh, their number. So this will count the number of developers oh. we have. So like we have one through six now. Right. Prime numbers. Okay. Um, prime real estate there. Okay. History has been made. Uh, so that number and the stars. We were going to do stars for com per completed development cycle, but you can't put that in right now. So we can amend their bad. In fact, that that you could put on your list or the HR task list. Once a person completes their a first development cycle, they get a star on their badge for every development cycle that they complete. So that'll be like if you have a badge like like a five star general, you know, kind of deal. So just a little star that would yeah. be there. Um, I'm not sure if JB has. Put that in the star thing we might have to ask them to, to do us like a draw up a star that we can click on and off or or just drag into there yeah yeah should uh -huh. be pretty easy so. that's good um put a layer on it. very good um, um so so you want me to go ahead and so the people who've already passed it i can just go in there see who yep. first then Put their name, their score, the number that they uh, that they fish. Yeah. Yep. And then what else? And, so and then send out the email. So so even the people who have been, you know, on the team for a few weeks, I'm still just gonna send them. I'm just gonna send everybody the email. Yeah, but you're gonna have to give them okay. in, individual emails because they get different icons, unless you right. load them up all. That's fine. It will be good to yeah, I can, I can give it. individual. Yeah. Or. Yeah, I mean, give it to him an individual. That'll be good. Um, 
So we got six emails. That's good. That's good. Then we can get feedback on, on how that was. Excellent. So you can do that uh, this week or? Yeah. You're going to be traveling, so probably by the end of the week or something. That will be good. Yeah. Well, actually, I actually have a day in Miami tomorrow. Okay. Um, and then, uh, yeah. That will be awesome. Okay. So let me tell you, let me get on a box. Uh, as far as your your side, anything else? Let's see if we go to the HR log. Anything else? Um, I did I did a really quick uh, flyer for um, for developer recruits. Oh, I, I did a couple uh, postings on. Basically, we have the four uh, online venues that are free uh, that we've used, like Indeed. Yeah. Um, so two of those I was able to do. Two of them, um, I don't know if you changed the login because I wasn't able to log in because those two you can't. Uh, no, I didn't touch it. Like admins. Um, you were never added to admin. No, I, I didn't or, change. Because I, mean, I, I had an email from you saying, um, "Pins." Let me see. Let me go on here and see which ones they were. Well, I didn't change anything, but yeah, let me know what what's up with that if. I made two of the postings. They're in. I think I updated them in the HR page, the wiki. Um, yeah, let me go there really quick and just tell you which ones I did. Oh yeah, so I got to publish a little welcome video. Yeah, I should do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I posted on Indeed and All for Good, uh -huh. and then uh, Volunteer and Idealist. Um, those I need the login information. Okay. Uh, what happened to that? So I, I just did. it didn't. Uh... Let's see, on Volunteer Match, you're, you've been made an admin, right? So you should be able to... Yeah, I, I can do... Or, let's see, Volunteer Match. Okay, yeah, that one... Um... You, should, you should have that. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. I think if I log in... I think I have a login for that, and then I think I'm already... Yeah, able to edit there. Okay, so I can do that one. Um... Right. If you need to let me know, but I, I mean, I didn't change anything, so were you able to get on there right, before? Well, um, because I, I think you wanted to change it to um, be the same as I made the email, and then I made a password for um, all for good because I think that was the one I did. And then you said uh, you, you sent me an email saying you're going to change the other ones to be the same login and password, so I could edit them. I don't know if you ever change them or if they're the original ones oh i see so if it's the original i gotta change it right. i don't know if you still have the email that i sent um so basically they would probably the login and password okay um well if i didn't change it then let's see it's the one i created right okay i can take a look at that Okay. Um, so there's that. I made I made those postings. I just did the um, kind of the same intro that you used for the uh, for the HR generalist postings, and then changed the job description to what you wrote up for the um, for the developer. So those are up. I think I just put them up like uh, two days ago. Oh, and I noticed on. Uh, on I think it was indeed that there was people who had uh, applied. I don't know if you talked to them already. Uh, one of them looked pretty good. 
for HR? Uh, it was under the HR position, but the, it seemed like uh, the guy's experience was a little more on the developer side. Uh, this was uh, on volunteer match? I think it was indeed. Uh huh. I'm sure if you hadn't spoken with him yet, it was me. Well, I emailed, I followed up with everybody and sent, sent them to the applied interviewing. Saved. Let's see, let me share my screen with you here. I'm not getting this, it's like, what's the deal here? I guess it goes that's what I'm interested in, but let's see. Account. I don't get this. It's nothing that's showing up here. But I know that I responded. What about this maybe? Post job. Okay, I think they're. Uh, it's a little crappy interface. Okay. Um, okay, six new candidates. So I should have responded to all of them. So let's see. Indeed is the one you don't have the password to? No, I have the password for that one. Um, yep, the, uh, I res responded to that uh, one. Yeah, that's the one, the top one, the new one that I saw yesterday. Now this is really weird because I... I applied to so let's take a look at one of them so for example i responded by by email let's see if that showed up yeah it showed up let's see okay. this one yep yep i got it Jessica. Yeah. That's funny because nobody else has responded actually. Like Melissa, Jessica, Holly. I mean, see, I responded to all of them and they haven't responded since. What do you think that is? Huh. Because there's a chance they're not getting the email? It's possible. Um, see, but they only get, they only have this, this email that's right there. Right. And that's what I responded to. So otherwise I don't know who it is. There is no, no info except for this guy who actually, if I check my inbox, Um, no, this is a different one actually. This is Shweta. This was, um, 
from today. One more item. Forgot to send him the survey here. There's something weird going on with that Indeed stuff, so um, I'll I'll get you the log in there. Maybe can you look after that and see what's going on? Because besides those emails that are in there, there's nothing. There's no other contact, yeah. at least that I've seen. So if you can track that down, see if you can do that. Yeah. Um, that. Okay. So let me make that note then. So Monday, March 13. Seven there. So follow up on indeed.com. None of the six responded. I mean, it could be that they're just like not interested or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It might be that. A lot of people end up sending out a lot of resumes and just following up with a few or something like that. But I don't know. Um, it's yeah, definitely it's something like to... They took the talent. Make the initial uh, contact that they would respond to the emails. Yeah. So, okay. 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 Right. Then uh, I think the last thing I was doing was the flyer. Yeah. Say that... Uh, so yep. I don't know how you want to how you want to look. I just kind of just started a little, um, and then you know obviously it runs on two pages, so we kind of had to shorten up the. Yeah, we got to trim it down a little bit. Make, um, yeah. And then I'll make uh, then I'll make that smaller, obviously the uh, QR. But that goes to the that page on the wiki. Okay, let's see what we got for. Um, See if JB's got any any um, decent templates here. Anything else that he's got for attractive templates? I know I've got one for. Um, yeah, let me share one with you. I, I know there was like a 3D printer announcement that had good formatting on it. This was. Uh, I think, let's see, flyer. Okay. If you want to go all out, you should do this. I can share this with you. See, B Press Workshop Announcement, and here was, um, do you like these better? You can put the text in there. But that's kind of like, do you want to use that or? It's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have like a maybe like a picture of the printer. Yeah, why don't you? I'm gonna share this with you, and um, and also share this other one with you because that allows for more text. And here's another one still. I'll share those three with you. See if you want to just. Paste the text in there. Hey man, I got a lot of flyers here. 
Um, Want to build a tractor? <laughs> uh, there you go. Look at that. Hey, man, I should look into my... <laughs> I didn't know we had this. This is from long ago. Okay. I'll forward you all these templates and you can just put the words... Because you can have one of those things where you have the break, break off pieces of paper. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if... Uh want to do that leave the qr code or we'll do both you got the qr code out um, yeah that's not bad it's kind of let me share a few of these with you then so uh so did you say take 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 the qr code out no i would say leave that in and take out because um you could probably assume that everyone's got a cell phone, right? Or at least the people who our clients are typically have cell phones. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I'm crashing here. Hello? Yeah, I'm gonna log on. What the fuck? Losing volume. Yeah. Okay, I can hear you now. Okay. My computer might be like dying on me here. Let's see. Can you hear me? Alright, I think I can hear you. You can hear me now? Yes. Okay. Okay, that that looks like it might work. I'll share these with you after the meeting, maybe, because uh, it's kind of slow right now. I'll do that, and then let me go over. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll send all those templates if you wanna. Yeah, it would be nice to have a um, current one. That'll be good. Um. Yeah, I shared that one. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just do that right now. Richard White Raw at Gmail. Can you still hear me or, or did you cut out?
Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, okay. So, that's good. Got plenty there. So, um... um I didn't hear the, the last things you were talking about, about the flyer. I Actually, shared... I got the emails, or I got the, uh... You just shared them with me. I, I do have them. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear, like, your comments on it. I would say keep the QR, because typically the people are probably more than ripping off a little sheet. Um... Probably a lot of people have QR codes. Uh, QR code readers. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I, I like the one you showed me that has both. It has the QR and then yeah. it has the, the rip the things off. So okay. I think that, both of them. That works. That's, that's the answer all the time. Okay. Um, yeah, do that. That's pretty good. So take your wording. Post those in your log, please. Uh, sure. And um, we'll go from there. So that's good. Okay, so let's let's talk about focusing on the recruiting effort. So yeah, yeah, just put the one one thing of following with the Indeed.com because I don't know what's going on. Those none of them have responded, so let's let's figure that one out. Okay, uh, focusing the recruiting effort around allied projects is a good thing to do, and there's definitely very specific skills that we need right now, uh, like as we're going with the 3D printer, all the stuff that we're doing right now. There's it's emerging that like for example in the meeting today. Um, you know, I was explaining how to do this cloud collaboration stuff, or I was explaining Scrummy, which was the little tool that we used. Um, but a lot of this kind of stuff can be pumped in through our new strategy on a development process. So this is what I propose here. So I've got this thing on a working teams page on the wiki, which is this this page called working teams. Uh, it's got kind of lots of kind of like high level organizational notes and stuff. Uh, let me share my screen so that you can see it. Ah, I think it died. Maybe not. Okay, I, I pulled it up on my screen. Okay. On my uh, computer. Yep. Yeah, it's my computer's kind of going freaky on me here. Okay, there it is. Um, yeah, so working teams. There's a thing uh, called development process, and in it I put another slide in there, slide number two. But even slide one implies this. Okay, so we got HR going on, but the training was pre formerly disconnected from anything else here. But I think there's a clear way to integrate the training the HR and the current development. So it turns out that as we st we're starting to move forward with people, there's a lot of training that's needed on a lot of the different tools and techniques. And those people that can be helping us get the training, they would be perhaps the best developers because they actually know some of the existing tools. So I would say we take training and then specifically um, on a working teams page there's the 101 101s the 101 101 courses under pulling together so what we should do given that there's things we are definitely working on and definitely need go through all these and start identifying a priority list of tools that we want to do so I start that on page two um, if you go into that document um, enter that document with me uh, I'll share that to the world. Um, yeah, let's see. Is there a link to edit that there? No. Yeah, there is a link under. Go under the development process working document and uh, click edit underneath that doc, and you'll be taken to this um, development process working doc let's change that name to that so if you look at page two okay let me do um, I'm gonna put anyone can find and edit I'm pretty comfortable with the version history within the under the file menu which means that I've, we're leaving all these open if anyone hacks it we can just go back in history to restore an old version okay but let's take a look at page two. You're on there? I don't see you in there. Yeah. I'm 
Oh, uh, okay, to edit it? I'm on the way. Yeah, yeah. You sh uh, yeah, can you do that? I don't see you in the dock, so we can start. You can start editing this, too. Oh, okay, through uh, Google Docs. Yeah, click under that. Okay. Don't see you in there. So development. Wait, so how, do get, how do I get it? Oh, okay. Wait. I lost your screen there for a second. How do I get to? Uh, I'm on the. Okay. I'm on the wiki page. Development. I'm looking at the same thing, but it's from the wiki. How do I? Yeah. Click on that link. How do I get to where I can? Edit. I put the link in there. It's the edit link underneath the embedded Google Doc. It used to be that you would click on a Google Slides icon and you would get into that document. They they deleted that function. Okay. But yeah, so I was clicking the edit above it. Okay, I'm here. No, edit below it. Edit that edits the wiki. The edit below edits the, the embedded doc. Yeah. Little trick there. Okay. Um, ah. Reopen, close tab. Okay. Uh, did you get in there? Okay, so it's loading up for me. I closed it by mistake. Um, are you sure you're in there? Okay, it's still loading up for me, so you might be. Okay, making believe you're you're in there. So, so on page two, do you see me as the person? I don't see you in there. Yeah, I see um, your icon. You do? That's weird. I'm not. Oh, there you are. Okay. Right. So, so we've got 101, 101s. There's a whole extensive list, and we're you already using a lot of those tools. Like for example, you, you got GIMP. There's Caden Live. There's FreeCAD going on. Um, there's Scrummy, Google Docs, Wikis, RepRap, Marlin, Cura. Okay. Let's talk about this. So, so there's whole communities around RepRap, so that's 3D printing. So get very granular on specific skill sets. So I would say it's like, okay, we've got all these communities out there. Go out to their forums and networks and post, you know, post stuff. Post like, hey, hey guys, we're doing this. So, so what what we're doing is we're nar narrowing down our target market from uh, people who are kind of like on Indeed.com and and Volunteer Match to very specific development communities, community people. Right. So now that's kind of a little shift because as we talked before, we were a lot about having the professional audience who, who are disciplined and have a full-time job so that they're likely to, to be a good player. But I think it doesn't hurt to go to these specific skill communities, though probably on average, uh, a lot of the people... Uh, in a wild, in a wild, wild communities, there they may, may not be as disciplined as the um, <laughs> the professional audience, but still, it's it's worth trying because they have direct skills and open source culture, so it's a trade off there. Uh, so it's good. So RepRap, um, I put links to those various things, and um, if you haven't heard of them, like Marlin, Marlin is the software for 3D printer control. So. Cura is the 3D printer interface that we want to use, like like Cura. Um, okay, I'm just showing that to you, but that's what I use for 3D printing. MediaWiki. Uh, so the question is, what are the specific needs that we have right now? Well, 
for example, on RepRap, it's clear that we're developing the 3D printer, so we could definitely use people who are familiar with 3D printers, right, who have experience. So that's Cura, if you look at my, my thing, that's, you, you open up um, documents and you print them off of that thing. Marlin is the software, it's, it's called the firmware that you put on the controller, but there's a whole bunch of configuration that, that, that we're reworking and making work for, for us, so that's a very specific thing to look for. Cura, MediaWiki, Google Docs, CSS, HTML, like for example for CSS HTML there's a C CSS working group within the World Wide Web Consortium you know things like that so so the point is like for all these tools that we use there's there's already communities around them and the very valuable ones include those um, let's see I'm gonna since I already have that page there I'm gonna since this top part is already on the former page I'm gonna do that and let's let's draw up a couple more cuz like for example you know what HTML CSS it's like web page design like for example if you want to do embedding websites into wiki for rapid prototyping creating templates or like the the shopping baskets within wiki I mean there's plenty of applications for CSS H HTML uh, FreeCAD. I mean, there's the the specific skills that we're not experienced with yet are exploded part animations. There's um, finite element analysis, which is like the structural calculations. That exists in there. There's um, excellent fabrication drawings, like ty with fabrication drawings with nice wiki templates, which are created actually in Inkscape. So here's a case for Inkscape contributors. Um, naturally GIMP, right? Because you're using that. So we want to get schooled in on that. There's Caden Live and Blender, absolutely. So, um... GIMP. A compelling message would be something which t asks people explicitly for the kind of stuff that we want, but but what do we want? Uh, so so I would say we want this stuff. So so let me get you this link here. Look at the curriculum dev strategy. So this could, this could, I, sh I think I showed that to you already. Um, can you click on that? Yeah. See that? Yeah. yeah. So over there, I, I uh, there's a general process where this was more for the SME. Like, um, th do you remember seeing this, the curriculum dev, dev yes. strategy? So, yeah. Um, so this was more for like people who would come in ad hoc and maybe do a webinar, you know, which is still valid. Like, we could still ask people to come in and do a simple like when we have the Monday meeting, we can have a 15 minutes. Okay, here's all you need to know about uh, GIMP and a 15 minute crash course, you know, so basically give them a little time slot and say, okay, teach us as much as you can in 15 minutes. And then we can make the basic 101 video from that and so forth, right? So that'll be one thing to do. But now if you're asking for, for, so here we're, we're saying we're going to now re recruit developers. So one, one ask would be, okay, join the OSE dev team or 
you know, help us how to do that. So basically the general message is help us do an instructional or, you know, join a team or help us do an instructional that's OSC specific and focused on the specific needs and workflows of OSC. So like we don't want to use these whatever um, like weird features of Blender. We might want to do a few certain things like like for Blender, for example, we might want to go export between Sweet Home 3D and Blender. You know, um, Sweet Home is what all the house, the open houses, and and you can get that into Blender. You can get it into FreeCAD. So actually, Sweet Home is something we are using um, right now. Sweet Home is a little bit off track because we're, I mean, we're not getting to the housing yet, but. Um, so maybe I shouldn't include Sweet Home here, but like Blender, we could be getting renderings and various animations, like like a walkthrough animation within Blender. That would be a cool thing. So Blender animators. Um, to freeze yeah say it so that we could yeah we could go and post for each uh, community or message board kind of specific to what we're looking for for like you know the 15 minute crash course yeah I mean the only thing I've got if you click on the 101 101s there's just beginnings of explanations on it and that should be fleshed out so but what we can say you know like for example a little wiki 101 video so so that would involve video oh, work too like, like yeah there's that that we have um, but you know like the basics because it's like we're missing all those videos and each one of them takes an hour to do like hour for a quick one it would take like an hour to prepare like a 10 or 15 minute one but then it would take 40 hours to do like a three minute one you know <laughs> uh, if someone's really good they could do it in 10 or 20 hours but I mean it takes long to if you want to get a good crisp clean video so that's where the OSE developer, you know, like the task would be over one month, you get one nice instructional. That's where we need some bodies because we've got a, a hundred one one oh ones. But we got to start with the existing ones. The um, like, okay, let's go through some of these details like FreeCAD 101. Yeah, we kind of have that FreeCAD 101. Caden Live 101, just the basic, basic workflow of taking. Um, so if I edit uh, the Caden Live 101 basic video production, um, that's a big one. Like like for example, uh, title screen, subtitles, music tracks, embedding. Yeah, like uh, clips. Um, yeah, yeah, just basics, like basics of you take, take, take a few video clips and put them into a video. And that in principle, a lot of the people in the FreeCAD test already did that, but some just didn't do it because it was too hard or they couldn't do it. So, um, that's that. There's another one called, do you, you know what com compositing is? It's where you put media, different media, and put them into one video. So that is, um, there's one called um, Natron. It's open source, com com it's right there, Natron 101. Um, I think Natron, like, if we're going to do high quality media, like, say we get the nice video with, like, maybe, like, say me talking then I have a win window pop up that shows like a different picture like a like a news show you know I think the compositing would be useful because right. we can do like for example take two different 
video feeds and put them into one screen like for example you see like maybe in I could see things like in four four screens you you show the four different modules coming together at the same time so it's like just a blast of information you know things like that Natron is pretty good um, I have no clue how I've never used it uh, but I can just tell you this would be I would say before Sweet Home we've got Natron but from what we talked about before, the tools that we use right now, does that pretty much cover what we have right now? RepRap, Marlin, Cura, MediaWiki, Google Docs, CSS, FreeCAD, Inkscape, GIMP, Caden Live, Blender, Natron. Those are ones I could really think of. Um, there's Vocal Screen. I use that. I mean, I use that as the preferred thing on, on um, Ubuntu. I think it's pretty good. That's the screen capture, which which I'm capturing right now. It doesn't crash. Um, yeah, I mean, okay, so I mean, right there, what we have is plenty of work. But the question is, would you be able to come up with? Uh, yeah. Like, um, I mean, even just you know, what, find their venues, where they're at, and just engage in communication with them to. And then we get a scorecard. The scorecard would be how many people end up contacting us every week, how many people actually end up doing a test every week. So, so basic metrics like we, we what we'd want to do is uh, uh, for this process, we should come up with a scorecard of what the metrics that we're looking at. I mean, in the bot, the end end line matrix is metric is how that graph of developers and developer hours is going, and of course. Uh, equaled by not the fact that there's warm bodies but also okay the development spreadsheet is getting filled in like it's getting completed the burn down is actually happening so we want to map the burn down as well I'm not mapping the burn down right now because we you know we've got a 40 development items we're kind of like working along doing like the minimum we can with six people but I would say like the ideal people for a serious burn down say in 90 days I mean, I think with a team of 24, you could probably do a complete burn down in that time, like 100% or close to 100%. Because right now we're just taking like the most important assets and kind of doing what we can. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. So does this give you enough to, to go on? Yeah, that's going to be uh, some time there. I'll Go ahead and find the venues or where the or, uh, message boards are, and, and go. Yeah. You know, just a little. And you know, like, you know, we can start focusing on things. I think the things that are important. I mean, I would say, FreeCAD is definitely big on. Um. That's like okay. if we said one, two, three, you know, start with one, two, three. I mean, there's FreeCAD. Um, you know, for Cura, there's a. I'm going to actually highlight that because let me explain that to you. So let's get three that are top priorities and let's see if we can score a person for that because. Because Cura is this nice interface that I showed you just before, uh, and I'll show it again. But the thing is, so you basically drag and drop, like, uh, just to show you. Have you seen Cura yet? No. Just to show you, like, you can drag and drop a part in there, like this thing. You know, it shows up and you can 3D print it, right? Now, here you just hit print and it prints. But with our printer, the trick is the first time you ever run it, you got to calibrate it. And then once you're calibrated, it's good pretty much forever because it has automatic height sensing. Now... That feature, the, the first step of auto calibration, that procedure would have to be programmed into this interface. And it's not in there because everyone does it their own way. Like the Prusa i3 original does it one way. Um, Lulzbot does it another way. Um, 
I think we can actually do better with what we can do. Like there's, I, I, I can propose a simpler algorithm that's foolproof, but that needs to be programmed. So, so we'd need a Cura developer. So we can read about Cura. What is that? You know. See if you can see if you can get us a Cura person, someone who knows who's uh, worked with Cura. Well, we know that Lulzbot's done it, and we can ask for. Well, I mean, you can you can do things like go to Lulzbot. So I know Jeff, for example. We can ask him who who did Q, Cura for them, and we can say hey, uh, and we can perhaps ask that person to volunteer or. And possibly even pay them, but uh, we don't have money right now. But I mean, try to go for the developer route, the open source contributors, the OSE developers. But yeah, I would say Cura is high importance because the thing is, on um, the initial calibration, it's still kind of tricky. You know, you kind of got to mess with it. So, what we want to do is if we get this foolproof calibration procedure built into the interface, that it makes it easy for you that's how you can get tons of people replicating this so it's basically about getting the quality on every single step of this say we were at the 3d printer we really need that automatic calibration there so that's why cure is really needed and maybe if somebody who's watching this and I, you know I can actually when I post this video I can say hey we're looking for cura people and FreeCAD and others but definitely that would be pretty high importance What's the third most important one? I would say Caden Live because that is core. I mean, videos like, like I think when we go forward, we should say that to people like the HR generalist interview. So I've got I'm interviewing. Um, there's a person Hart Laru, um, who's a Kickstarter backer. He's applying for the HR generalist. So I'm gonna ask him. Basically, the way I position that is. We want to learn tools like, like Caden Live, so we can all, like you yourself, you should know things like Caden Live, so you can do little videos, little uh, little edits of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I would say I would definitely highlight Caden Live. That's pretty important, because right now it's like I can do basic stuff in there. It's good, it's easy. But first of all, we got to do a decent video. Um, so if we could get people, yeah, those are three big, big time communities, uh, communities of big time importance, and they're all like Caden Live is a they, they got a community there. To me, that sounds that sounds to me like the best open source video editing program out there at present. Uh, some people you also use Blender, but that's more complicated. Um, I'm inclined to say that Natron is important, but it's kind of a frill. It's actually like Natron would be compositing is once we get really good and you know our stuff is getting really impressive, you know. So maybe stay off of that one. But I would say if there was any fourth one, I would say Blender. But say do those top three. Or actually, no, actually you should go to Blender too because um, that's like a huge community. That's a majorly successful project. Um, so you can see like what it looks like there compared to these other guys. Cura, probably the smallest community is between free ca yeah, I don't know, but Blender is let's just say that's the largest one of these all. Um So yeah, that's uh That's what I wanted to just, you to see it because you'll see like how how active that community is and what they got going on, but they got a lot of stuff going. They got they make movies in Blender. You know that? It's uh, oh, really? yeah. It's I mean they they make they're actually making like real movies with Blender now, so that's pretty cool. Um, but that's just like a 3D 3D rendering program, graphics program, high power graphics program that got open sourced um, a decade or so ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but see if you can pull us any. I mean, basically, like when you're looking, like you know, try to get you know as you're searching this stuff, just try to see if there's a community around this and who the people there are because I mean we got to basically find supportive people and all these people that in all these communities that can help us just go a little faster on on our stuff you know like um, best practices yeah does that make sense yes it does.
does. So as I'm posting this stuff, they're going to be contacting you. I'm going to put your email in there. Um, I'll write something up before I start posting anything and, let, and uh, you know, have you look at it. Yeah. Um, or you could do, I mean, also the other thing is, I mean, there's many venues, so search through the different venues. Like, yeah. some places it's going to be Facebook, some places it's going to be their forums or whatever. Um, so, yeah, yeah, just... Try to, I don't know, if you're comfortable just engaging these people and say, hey, join us, join the team here, or help us develop. Yeah. So we got one heavy-duty ask, which is OSC developer, and the lighter-duty ask is just join us for a webinar, you know. Like, come show up for 15 minutes on um, the Monday morning. So we would, we would say, you know, here's a specific thing, like, in 15 minutes, tell us all you know about Caden Live or, or Blender 101. I think it would be good to get like a little bit of time at every Monday meeting just for study. And then, yeah, I, I think just a little bit of yeah. that in that meeting would be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back and actually watch some of the last two meetings. So I wasn't able to make those. I'm just kind of familiarize myself a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I'll definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's about all. I think uh, if you can I mean, start um, kind of focusing the search, and I'll kind of. For the HR team, I'm going to propose that, that yeah, like, what's the best strategy to do this? How do we do this? How do we get our scorecard <clears throat> up and that we're just getting people responding to us and getting people on board? So I kind of try to focus around getting a good strategy, good team that we're just, like, cranking through people and actually identifying helpful people. Because there's going to be some really good people that want to be on our team, but we just haven't really found them. And I think in general, just reaching out to the communities that are already doing the stuff that we're working with, their tools, I think that's just a good idea to get them involved. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so I'll start uh, with those emails. Start up. Uh, go back and watch the meetings and then check out these message boards. Yeah. And, you know, wherever these uh, communities are. Right. I forgot uh, yeah. one thing though. Like I'm gonna actually load another one up here. The is the live USB thing. Like if someone could be like we need a maintainer for that, and okay. it could be Jay. <laughs> I mean I don't know. Uh, he's supposed to apply. He hasn't yet. But we need to find a maintainer for the ISO. Uh, we definitely do. That's that's like we kind of said. Okay, let's find somebody to do that instead of you necessarily having to do that. Um, does that make sense? Load that off somebody else because I think we're throwing too much stuff on your plate. Um, yeah. So live USB. I mean, basically, frame everything that you do is like. Okay, I'm gonna be recruiting people to do those kinds of things. You know. Right. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm just sort of yeah. getting a uh, feel for what it is, and then okay, now I gotta find somebody who really knows this thing and yeah, try and recruit yeah, expert. Right. The live USB is a big one. What else? What else were we working on? Like the flyer, the USB, the message. Like with the with the icons, there's the GIMP part, um, which is kind of important. But yeah, we should find somebody. I know that Jean Baptiste knows GIMP and. Um, but he's doing um, he's got plenty to do right now on the dev, dev team right now so we don't want to overload him but yeah, yeah, that's that's the general idea alright alright All right, cool, yeah I got, uh, got plenty to do here yeah yeah and as we kind of smooth out the the process of how we do this, I think we'll get better. But so we've got the postings right now at the different places. There's some some people coming in through that. We'll keep working that, see if we can shake that down. And uh, the other guy who applied through Indeed recently, or no, the the volunteer match, that person's got a few years of HR experience. So maybe there's going to be some good good feedback there. We'll see, so we'll see okay. if they respond, but yeah. Um, would you be available to do the the Wednesday interview at 11.30 a.m. with Hart? Um, CST? I don't know if that's you're going to be available yeah, at I, that time. I, I think I'll be, yeah, that's a, that's a free day for me. 
Okay. So I'll add you to that invitation there. So I'm going to send that invite to you right now. Okay. Um. Wednesday, eleven. Eleven thirty. So I just sent you the invite to that if you can make it. Yeah, that sounds good. That's that's plenty. Plenty of stuff. So we need people. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm All right. Right on. Excellent. So, so just to wrap up here, then. So, um, with the HR log priorities. So, probably. Um, what's number one? Email to the participant to the current team. That'll be good. Um, with the badges, ISO. We're gonna drop that until we find somebody to do that. But we should, you know, follow up with Jay. Uh, you know what? Uh, there's a. I'll email follow up all the people that there's a few people that kind of are lagging that we haven't heard from. I'll follow up with them. Um, I'll get to that sometime. Including Jay, because he's not uh, hasn't responded so much. Um, second thing would be let's shake down the Indeed.com because if that's not working, we gotta fix that. Yeah. And then the third thing is the the we're really that's what we're calling that is the curriculum developer recruiting. I mean, it's the curriculum developer slash OSC dev well OSC dev with curriculum development is kind of like the people from those communities that's what we call it the curriculum developers that are OSC devs mm -hmm. but I think like the curriculum development part like that part like why I say that is we can just dole that out like there's so much work there that it's pretty easy to define like just basic and basic good instructionals that are OSC adapted. Um, that's easy to kind of like get those people going, like especially when they see the team meeting and we can invite them to do an instructional and, and then we can even have people say, hey, make sure you teach me how to do this feature and that feature and stuff like that so we can kind of get all those people wrapped into the development process. Yeah. Because like right now we're asking people to make little instructionals on the things that they're yeah. doing, but there should be dedicated people who are just focusing on that to get really good quality materials that everyone just everyone that comes on just learns faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So those those would be kind of like the the three priorities. They're numbered in the OSC dev log. The yeah, sorry the yeah. HR log. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Excellent. All right. Very cool. So have a have a good trip then. Unless you got anything else. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. We got a, I think I got enough here. I think you got enough. So yeah. Um. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. So have a have a good vacation, and um, we want to check in on um, what can we? Let's see. Would a Monday. Can we kind of switch uh, well, to Monday well, evenings? Thing. Yeah, you know, that's fine with me. It, it's a little bit more workable, actually. Let's do that, because uh, kind of like Monday, get the meetings out of the way, and then I can have a focus day on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Yeah, Monday yeah. Day is usually pretty busy for me, too. So. Mm hmm. Oh. Um. Would the same time like five or six like what's the the Brazil is a few hours ahead right like three hours ahead, is that? I think we're it's pretty close, um, but I'm not gonna be doing uh, uh, Brazil will be fine. I'm not gonna be um, there, so I should have you know I can free up my schedule there. Okay, you want what time you want to go I'll, next? I'll let, you, I'll let you know. What it means. Yeah, uh, let me know what time would work for you on Monday. Sounds good. And then, uh, so then I'll see you Wednesday. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, man. All right. Sounds good. good. Sounds good. So I'm going to post this video. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Have fun right. on your trip. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're going to All do right. any 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 um, snorkeling? They got any snorkeling down there? I think they do. We were, we were talking about doing that. We're kind of planning it by here a little bit. We have our locations kind of nailed down. We haven't planned like exactly what, uh, what we're going to do. So. But yeah. yeah, that's definitely on my list. I want to try that. Definitely. That's fun stuff. All right. Cool. Sounds good, man. Okay. All right. So have fun. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Take okay. Bye-bye.